Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Bernard Kenna. I'm the editor and photographer of the website known as The Photo Pit. We have a very special guest that's here with us today. I was absolutely thrilled to be able to get onto uh, our little interview schedule because I love their music. I love their band. I've been following them forever and a day, as far as I can even remember. I want to introduce everyone here to Elias Soriano, lead vocalist for the band Nonpoint. Hi, Elias. How are you today? How are you doing, buddy? I'm good. I'm good. So let's get to talking about, you know, the big news for the band. Um, I think maybe, I want to say I think maybe it was a shocker for a lot of people when we heard of this, is your band's decision to go independent record label on your own, um, as opposed to staying with the normal format with a lot of bands have done, you know, with a, a I don't want to say, you know, maybe veteran established, but, you know, with maybe a, a bigger label. Can you give us some feedback on, like, what was the decision to do that? Um, I think, uh, you know, uh, we're in very untraditional times. Uh, the last three years, three to five years, really, um, we've seen music delivery and new models and 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 ways to to deliver songs and records uh, being tested and it's a lot of stuff that we've we've tossed around ideas uh, to some of the bigger machines that and teams that we've been part of in the past. Um, we know that uh, a lot of those processes and models are really set in stone and don't have a ton of flexibility. Uh, they have certain channels and, and infrastructures that are set that they run their, their bands through their proven model that they normally work with and run, uh, you know, whatever band they feel like, hey, you have a promising song. We feel like with our channels and our, and our process, we could help you grow and help awareness with, with the music. <clears throat> Nowadays, especially with, uh, you know, the internet uh, and a lot of boutique teams and, and finding creators and people that are uh, stretching strategies in more of an untraditional way that are matching, um, you know, uh, and, and create not only matching, but matching these uh, times that uh, we're seeing with music delivery and, and content uh, delivery, uh, you know, as a band, you know, we we want to stay nimble and we want to be able to move with that that pace. Uh, a lot of those infrastructures and old uh, traditional models it, it are, it can't move at that pace, mm -hmm. uh, nor do do they have enough uh, proof to to weigh the their dollars with those risky models. So, um, you know, independent being independent has always been quote unquote. Uh, risky. So, uh, you know, in such an untraditional time and with such uh, a support group and backing that we have, if there was any time to take the risk, it, it would be great. Right. And, and there have been other bands that even that I've seen who have done maybe not the same model of going off and deciding, hey, you know what, we're going to really just do this ourselves under our own label. I mean, there have actually a few who have done that, but I do can say that the untraditional models have definitely grown a lot more than what we've seen today. Yeah, because um, I think the focus of what what you're calling your success and what you're calling your growth as a brand is is starting to shift away from just a, a unit sale. So, uh -huh. um, you know, way back when when 360 deals were were everywhere, and you know, people under you know big money understood that model needed to dip into merch needed to dip into touring in order to fund those kind of risks so um now we have uh uh you know fans that you know can make something viral or push a song or you know push an image or a tour or you know a, a hometown show uh more so than just um you know, an ad. Yep. Yeah, that makes, and that makes absolute perfect sense. And, you know, in our day of social media today and how things have been working. So yeah, I, I absolutely can under, un definitely understand that perspective. So with the, um, so you guys have now created your own record label. You want to let our fans know what that's, what's that called? Uh, 361 degrees records is what it is. It's uh, paying an homage to our uh, fan group who pulled the lyric from our song circles. 
that's awesome. And I'm sure they greatly appreciate that for sure. So, yeah, we, we rock it on the merch. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, which, by the way, if, if people are watching and wondering when the merch is coming in, manufacturers are, are finally starting to drop our orders. Uh, so once we have everything to all the pieces to the pre-order, we're going to start sending out patch, packages. All right. Very cool. Yeah, they'll, I'm sure fans will absolutely love that. Yeah, the, they've been asking, so. Yeah, <laughs> they they always are, right? Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. always are. So let me let me ask this though, with the with now as we talked about kind of this untraditional um, point of view of how you know you're successful in your sense. How how does Nonpoint look at their? Let me, how what's your definition for Nonpoint as successful? I mean, because I look at Nonpoint and say, you know, for my own personal opinion, you're a very successful band. But what is it that your guys are looking for to say this is what's making us successful? Uh, when, when I mean success, I, I, I'm, I should have been more specific. I'm, I'm talking in, in sense of cycles, you know, okay. this record, next record, this cycle versus last cycle. Um, running into, you know, uh, uh, planning and issues and, and things that, you know, we're, we're trying to shift away from. Uh, but for us, it's, it's based on the same thing that everyone else's successes are kind of weighing against, obviously, you know, profit margins, uh, social media growth, you know, obviously those, those numbers and metrics that really make us go, okay, great. We've gone from, you know, an average of 300 to 600 views to now a thousand to 1400 right. views, you know, uh, you know, comments are used to be in the thirties and sixties. Now they're in the hundreds and 200, you know, that kind of thing where you're, you're seeing it happen. And then it translates to streaming uh, subscribers and that, and that kind of thing. So in that sense of what actually allows us to be sustainable so we can draw dollars and finances from those things to pay our team and to keep things going, you know, you all records, uh, recordings cost money and, you know, travel costs money. We're all spread out, uh, you know, our team costs money getting someone to do a, a, a picture edit or a, a merch design, everything, you know, people don't work for free, nope. and especially these times. So, yeah. um, you know, that's, that's the other side of that coin where we're looking at that when it comes to like uh, general internal success, we've been on the success train for decades now. It's, yeah. It's I, and I will absolutely agree with you. Yeah, absolutely. Because and, that, that side of the coin is based on, um, uh, connection, communication, uh, loyalty, and love with our audience base that, that is constantly being proven, even when this side doesn't do as well, where this side is always just, you know, a constant. And that's what keeps this side really going. So it's, uh, it's the yin, yin and <laughs> It's that hand in hand, right? <laughs> There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and um, with, I guess with the change now from this, this model, you've dropped your first single, Ruthless. Mm -hmm. What's the plan for non-point to continue in this fashion? Because I've seen there's two different models that some <laughs> artists you have gone with, right? There's, it's there's... funny. People are asking. Um, th the goal is, and, and this, is, this is something that we haven't been able to do in the past because there's always had there always has to be months of planning right plan, when you're moving a big label machine. Um, right now, I feel like when, uh, let me go back to that. When you're moving a big label machine based on our metrics, I can't ask a label to, to risk something that our numbers don't go, okay, this is worth it. Right. Everyone, it's a business at the end of the day. So I don't fault them for this. This is not what I'm, I'm saying anything against the major label machine, because the example I'm about to use does have a label, a major label machine, but for some reason they are staying nimble. And that is, uh, the silk sonic model. Okay. When we started, uh, ruthless, we decided that we were going to go until it until we knew people absolutely wanted more, weren't done with Ruthless. Uh, Ruthless has broken every single uh, chart record thus far for our 
camp and it's still growing. So the last thing we would want to do is draw attention away from that, seeing that there's still people getting their ears on it. Even though it's been out for 10 weeks, it's just still people going, wow, I didn't know. There's lots of traffic online. And there is lots of traffic on radio. So I don't, I, again, this is no fault of anyone because it's a large population. There's a lot of bands out. <laughs> so I get it. Um, but for us, we are doing the Silk Sonic thing. Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack have nailed it with Leave the Door Open. And they held and held and held, stayed in the top 10. They just, they held on and I, I literally was getting my daily dose of that song because it was such a cool song. It was pushing me back to like the 70s, you know, sound. Uh, so I, I, I was adoring it. But they dropped that new song and it was, it was exactly what people were waiting for. They got chance to do a video for it. They got chance to promote, you know, that kind of thing. So we want to give, you know, this, I keep saying this in interviews, this body of work, this EP mm -hmm. that, that do with each song where people go, okay, this is, this is Ruthless's time. All right, what's next? Not all the rest of them right now. I don't wanna give them to you all right now because I wanna give a chance to give you a video for When Dubs Cry, give you a video for these, this next song and this next song, which all that stuff, you know, having that kind of attention that Ruthless had, it, you know, we, we've never seen our music get that kind of attention and now that it's up to us and now that we have the risk and the financial risk on our heads, we can decide how much we want to stay on that plan. We will be staying on that plan, but we adjust to figure out how we stay on that plan as opposed to, hey, uh, we'll talk about that later. Let's hope that we do that. No, there's, we're doing three EPs. There is going to be a full LP. There will be video representation for all the music, like that kind of stuff um, uh, is, is, is the plan. Right. Cause in most traditional standpoints, when we're talking about, you know, album releases in that sense, it's always the, you know, here's the first single drop. And it always seems like within a time frame. not even when, if the song has like kind of finished getting hot, like when the time frame is like, okay, now we're going to drop the next single. And now we're right. going to drop the next single. And right, right, right. The, the release. Yeah. So, yeah. And, then, and then what happens is that everyone hears the body of work and immediately the very next day, somebody else drops something and those 10 songs just disappear from your mind. Right. Unless you like literally keep it on repeat with playlists and everything, the way the new the new way of consumption doesn't doesn't deem a, a full body of work in your face right away. What we plan on doing is giving people some music and you know uh, keeping them thinking and wondering. And and I think that's a great way to go. And I love what you guys have done so far with this. So I mean, because even the fact that it's it's gotten out there, number one, like really fast, really far. I mean, even the fact that you know when I saw in the one of the releases that I was reading that, you know, it even got onto one of, I believe it was AEW's, I think it was their pay-per-view, Blood and Guts, yeah. that became Blood their guts. song for that, right? I mean, the fact that now you're on major TV markets, you know, and, and such, which not like it's, that's no stranger for Nonpoint. You guys have been there before, but this is great to see for you that this new way is working and it shows that it's working well. Again, um, so. it's, it's something that we were able to line up on calendars, making plans, uh, talking to teams, making sure that they were okay with being patient. That, that Ruthless was supposed to be out last year and, and we held the song back for this exact reason. We yeah. wanted to make sure that everything was in place and the world was ready for it. And it wasn't ready for it. In not then, no, definitely no, not. Definitely. So we didn't want to risk it and it being in our hands, we were able to pivot and we felt no pressure because, uh, you know, we weren't, it, it was up to us. Yeah, good for you. I'm, gl I'm glad to see this is working out for you. So congrats on that. It's We've been blessed, thank thankfully. Yeah, yeah. very we're, much. We're the, lucky. We wrote, yeah, a, it, we wrote a good it's, it, it's one of the things that I, I will say this. One of the things I've started to, to notice, and I know I'm not the only one who've noticed this. Um, you already have on the social media, you know, stretch and universe that's out there. You know, you have, I know at least a Facebook group because I'm a part of that group too. And, but what I have noticed is that Nonpoint's been really more socially active, I think, 
everywhere, like on social media, like commenting more and calling out things more than I've probably seen before. And you're not the only man to do, but I found this really interesting and say like, wow. I mean, like they're really out there. Look at you guys, like, you know, engaging with the fans more frequently and, you know, not just limiting it to the fans that have supported you all this time, but it's like now to everyone who's out there to help, you know, show your brand and, and, you know, bring it out there. Um, you know, it, it, it was really, it's, it's part of our, you know, our new mission and, you know, under the direction of our, you know, new label team and our creative director, Francesca, you know, she really, when she first started with us, she was back stage on the bus, camera in hand all the time uh, and saw the story and said that it needed to, it, it, she saw the personalities and the life behind the show and knew that it needed to be delivered and we needed to interact in that same way uh, in our social media world. Um, you know, in the past, social, you know, non-point social media has been, you know, for the lack of a better word, very almost stagnant and, 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 uh, and dark. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to, you know, uh, uh, brighten it up and make it more of the personality of the guys in the band. And uh, if you follow us on social media, you know, we're, we're, we're no short of a punchline in <laughs> any direction. It's like nonstop good times. Um, you know, we've, we've run into, you know, uh, uh, our peer groups on, on tours and, and they always find it surprising that we always hang out together. Like our band is always like going to eat together or going to this place, all like whole band, all, all members. And, um, you know, I think that's something that, uh, that was probably missing the most uh, in the chemistry of, of old lineups that, that, um, you know, we notice really makes, uh, you know, our new project and, and this whole new look on, on, on our things, uh, uh what it is, which is, it's, it's just good times. Yeah. And I, and I, it, I will say it definitely shows cause I've seen it, you know, even online as I'm going through my own feeds going, Hey, look, but I'm going comment on this. What, what do they have to say here? What's going on? Like, yeah, you guys are, your personality is starting to shine more, you know, I think on the social media, you know, platforms, which is, which is good because it's, and it's funny that you said that where you're like, you know, we're always together and we're out and about it. It's like, even I know that because even when you guys have come down to Orlando, I think I have run into you and Rashid before the show as you guys were just hanging out you know right inside a house of blues just talking and chit-chatting you know it's yeah, just one yeah, of these yeah. Things, yeah like and rob was just walking around it's just one of these like you know they're so social and i think that's one of the reasons why the fans love you so much too it's that they have that connection you know and, yeah. and, it, and it's easily there yeah right and and if there's ever a time to start using social media with everything that's going on it's now so yeah let's let's, let's keep let's keep in touch with our fans yeah, good call. Good call. So speaking of getting in touch with the fans, you guys are back on the road. <laughs> I was excited to see this news. So tell me a little bit about the tour that's ongoing that you guys have planned. Uh, we did a brief weekend with uh, Stained. Uh, did three shows. Uh, one at up he uh, I think it was, uh, wait, it was Rockfest is, mm -hmm. was the first one. Uh, we did a show with them in Sioux City. And then we did another uh in Wisconsin, I mean, in, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, I had Upheaval, Upheaval Fest. So uh, those shows went really amazing. Uh, people were definitely ready for shows to come back. Uh, I'm hoping that the world is going to be ready when our, our tour picks up, uh, but we start in September. Uh, we do a couple weeks with Atreyu, and then uh, we do our headlining run for the uh, I'm About to Explode tour. We're going to bring uh, some songs that, and people, you, you follow us, so you know, we've been asking uh, quite a bit about set lists and songs and deep cuts and things that, uh, w what fans like in their workout <laughs> playlists and, uh, you know, what, what song best describes their outfit. I, I, I had a good one. Uh, Fix This was a good one to that I one. I love that song. Um, that comment, that comment was good on that one. Um, but uh, we're... Uh, we're going to be pulling some old songs that people have not heard in decades. Uh, we're going to play uh, Everybody Down, 
uh, oh. from the uh, SmackDown video game that we yep. ever played. Uh, people have requested that for years. Uh, we're uh, bringing uh, some cover stuff in. Uh, we're definitely going to be uh, adding Ruthless to the set. Um, you know, uh, there's talks of tribute getting added to the set as well. Uh, seeing how awesome that went uh, with the statement uh, event that we did on the during the pandemic. Yep. So it's it, it's going to be fun. Uh, the headline run, you're going to see some some pretty amazing bands. Saul is ferocious. Great music. <laughs> um, the Dropout Kings are just on fire. Love those boys. Uh, their music and and swag is right up our alley. Um, the guys in any given center are really making waves, especially in the Octane community where we do well. So right. uh, it's just the three bands that are, that are on this run are, are I'm, I'm really happy about the ticket. That's, that's what really makes me happy is that the entire night people are going to enjoy the show. I, uh, and then we bookend it with, you know, our boys and brothers in Seether who we've had uh, some pretty amazing nights. <laughs> with, uh, I would, I would say, uh, <laughs> Uh, that's that's going to be a debaucherous to me, <laughs> no doubt. And I do not look forward to what my liver is going to look like. <laughs> yeah, I, and uh, just to uh, call out for people, the um, I'm About to Explode tour, that starts on September the 11th. Yes. Um, wraps up uh, on October the 2nd. So, I mean, you got a, a pretty long run that's going on there. Um, your dates with Cedar and looks like I'm plush. You have three shows that are going. That's on September the 30th, October 1st, and October the 10th. So just so everyone's aware, and uh, you can check out our website. We have the tour information up there, too. Yeah, we just added some dates today. We just made it. awesome. uh, uh, That uh, some Texas dates. I know uh, New Orleans is in there. Uh, Texas, Colorado Springs, uh, Arizona. We just added to it uh, to loop ourselves back to the Midwest. Uh, from the Seether date. So if if you were wondering if the tour was coming to you and you were hoping there would be some more dates, we just added another, I want to say 13 dates. So. All right. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, you, you guys are going to be, uh, yeah. I, lo- I will say I love this lineup for your I'm About to Explode tour. I mean, Saul, Dropout Kings, and Given Sin. Saul's on my bucket list of uh, bands I have not seen yet. So that's a must see, you know, for me to catch them at some point. So yeah. This is this looks like fun stuff. Good for you guys. Yeah, it's gonna be. I'm. I'm. This is probably one of the more excited uh, tours I've been most excited about. Uh, it, and I was gonna ask you. So when when we talk about going on tour, like, what's the thing you look forward to the most? I think I know what your answer is, but I want to hear what, what you have to say. What's the thing you um, really look forward to the most? The most. I. I it, it's always that hour that I get. You know, on stage. I, it's the most important reason that I'm in that town. So. Um, that is definitely, uh, I'd say, top two. Uh, number one, this this next run, I think what I'm most excited about is hearing this, never having to sing this word. Like never having to sing the word because I, it, it was absolutely insane during, the, uh, during those festival shows that we played that song. So to hear our crowd, um, I'm I'm getting I'm getting goosebumps literally just thinking about what that song is going to be like uh, in a club. It's going to be loud. <laughs> it's going to be loud. It's going to be it's big. Fucking and crazy. It's yeah, going to be crazy. It is Absolutely gonna be, crazy. It is going to be insane. Yeah. yeah. So let the um the one thing I I find really interesting because we talked about with community with your you know your fans and how strong that non-point community has been. One of the things that always blows me away because I've literally watched it happen myself is the fact of when, after a show is done, how you guys have constantly and always, I, at least I could think 99% of the time, always have gone to your merch booth to stop and sign and talk to every single person until they're, everyone's out. And that we, just always yeah. blows my mind that you know you guys take that time to do that, and which I think is one of the reasons why your community fan base is so huge. Um, but kudos, I wanted to call that out and kudos to you for that because that's I know it's a lot of work and effort and you guys are, you know, you perform and you got to get back on a, you know, on the road to go to your next stop. So, you know, from, you from know, me as a fan, thank you for doing that. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm nervous because 
of what's going on with with COVID. Yeah. Um, to to be able to be, you know, uh, that up close and personal on this next run. Right. Um, we're having a VIP experience where we're trying to um, give them some kind of experience where they get to see us up close and ask questions and take pictures with us without um, possibly catching it from one of us. God forbid. If, yeah. If, we happen to catch it the night, but who, who knows what's, what's going on? So much information going on. Um, so uh, what we're trying to do and what we've done and decided in our camp, uh, we're all vaccinated. Uh, we're going to stay inside the bubble. We're going to make sure that the backstage area is, is pretty much situated and taken care of. Uh, keep our crew, especially our tour manager and, and, and our merch person who's really going to... Uh, be in and out of the the crowd a lot yeah uh, you know try to keep them safe and 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 uh you know keep people around them masked up hopefully if if there's that uh, uh ability to do so um but uh our fans are, are very understanding they always have been from for for years so i think they'll understand what we're having to deal with uh, i think they'll understand reluctance if it's there uh, I'm hoping to God that news starts to turn around very, very fast. I hope so too. Uh, but uh, if it doesn't, uh, we already have a very, very strong plan B uh, that's going to keep our fans very excited and happy. Um, that is, isn't going to cost them an arm and a leg and, and just at least keep them enjoying what keeps you doing interviews. With me. Right. And, and also to keep, you know, it's keep you and the band safe to keep, you know, everyone from your, your crew safe because yeah. you have to um i mean we've already literally seen you know bands who have had to stop tours midstream because yeah. unfortunately because of covid right i mean how you know the impact not only like financially for both you know the fans i mean obviously the fans usually would get their money back or at least like don't worry we'll come back around again and do reschedule but even for the band itself you know to like just stop touring for two weeks is huge yeah. so we definitely don't want to have that happen to you guys while you're on the road so hopefully you know we can keep you know, keep everyone safe and, and continue doing what you guys love to do. Just you we're know, gonna we're gonna do our, we're gonna do our best. We're hoping uh, boots on ground are gonna keep us updated. Uh, we have a few weeks before things really get ramped up. Yep. Um, so hopefully, you know, like I said, we we get a uh, <laughs> we yeah. Get fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you guys do still also have, besides the festivals that you've done, you still have some other ones coming up um, yes. as part of your tour. Um, the, yeah, okay. Awesome. <laughs> I, I was like, I don't know how I can't get out of a conversation with, with anyone around music and when Blue Ridge just pops up in conversation all the yeah. time. You know, because that, that festival is, is huge. You know, and that thing yeah. is massive um, yeah. with the amount of bands that are on it. And you guys are on it, so I'm glad to see that, um, that you guys are going to be there. But then you also have coming up, uh, let's see here, um, Fall Fling in Peoria, that's on the 18th. Yep. Um, and then you're going to be on, and I want to talk about these two specifically as well. You're also going to be um, at the inaugural Rebel Rock in my hometown. That made yep. me happy. I was thrilled about that. Um, yeah. And then you're going to be on Ship Rocked in 2022 at the start of the year. Indeed, back on huh. the ship. Back on the ship again. And, ho Super and hopefully things better. are better, you know, by the time that comes around. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I think you got to be vaccinated to be on that guy, so. Yeah. Uh, and then There's I debate think, around that in this state, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Carnival, carnival, uh, carnival cruise lines. I mean, that's that's the cruise line because you got to yeah. deal with us, their staff too. So I'm sure everybody's gonna have to test positive. I mean, test negative before yeah. they get on the guy. Because if not, I do not want to be trapped. No, right? No. For two months with ship rockers, <laughs> my liver will not last. <laughs> I I cannot stay awake that long. I cannot, a week, being a, awake a week straight is enough. Yeah. It's just, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do <laughs> don't, that. Don't blame you. No, I absolutely don't blame you. I think no <laughs> person is, is, is a uh, season, <laughs> that seasoned for that kind of party. Maybe Manson, maybe Manson. Right. With his absent, maybe with his absent liver, he could, he could. He'll hang. survive. Yeah. <laughs> it'll be fine yeah and it, it's so funny that you say that because i don't you know i don't think as as long as you guys have been around you know i don't think like decades but i was like wow yeah it's been you know decades 
you guys have been, yeah, you know, out decades. there. Yeah, two yeah. decades. It's a long time. I mean, long. And what's yeah, this gray hair didn't come from freaking eating, drinking coffee. <laughs> 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 but it, this, this is years of, of anger and pain right? man. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's also you know but it's also the fact that it's you know you've stayed the course and been you know continually successful is what you've been doing with your music the you know album release on our release and you know continuing to do now and just evolving now into a new format uh but still doing what you're doing you know and, and that's what we do we evolve yeah evolve yeah I mean, you have to in this day and age of, of music and even just in in general in life you know, involved to, uh, you know, improve yourself and to stay nimble, man. Better, stay nimble. Right? Yeah, you got to stay nimble. Yeah, I got to stay nimble. So let, let me ask you this some um, questions. What are your favorite singles you like to do when you're on stage? Favorite singles? Uh, singles? Uh, definitely Ruthless has is, is hit the top of the, uh, the, the, the list there. Um, I love playing mine, uh, Milestone. Okay. Milestone is a, is a, it's got a, a certain kind of, stank to it that i like uh dodge your destiny normally goes uh ape shit that's a good one uh to watch so i like playing that one live uh and then hands off is is our jumping song we 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 it's it's wonderful seeing a sea of people completely come off the ground yeah uh, so rebel rock and and blue ridge and Oh, it's all yeah. Playing. They're all gonna see that. that well, let's. That. I was gonna say let's let's step back for that for a second with with each of those um, festivals individually. So with Blue Ridge, you know, you were talking about you know a really large crowd. I think you know Rockfest was maybe probably you know close on size. I know what people wasn't as large, but this is probably gonna be if I think I'm right based on what you're performing in your list. Like this will be probably the biggest crowd you'll be in front of. Um, do you guys have anything special surprise for them on that day from your performances? Non point show. That's that's we 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 put on our show. That's they get the show. <laughs> and uh, that's that's plenty, believe me. We we, uh, we will be we will be uh snapping necks and dreads will be flying. There's no there's no stopping in our in our set. So right. if if and you know, definitely get a get a beverage so you can hydrate. <laughs> uh and if 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 you're you're planning on getting in the pit make sure that you have uh eyes in the back of your head because it's, right it's really and, the, and the same goes for rebel rock right i mean and, and at least for rebel rock you know the first time we've in orlando have ever seen a three-day festival because you guys have been down here plenty of times for earth day birthday that's our one day local that we always do that you guys have played that that show a lot um but now here we are for a three-day fest for the first time at the central florida fairgrounds and that will that'll be a thrill for see you guys Back on that stage to uh you know to hopefully a bigger crowd than what we normally see so i'm expecting that to well, be a lot of fun rebel rock we go on early so if you're you're going to rebel get there by noon because we hit the stage uh at 1 30 so 1 30 all right we got i'm hour. always there early so that's good i'm good for it <laughs> definitely gonna want to get there early it's especially uh especially to watch us hit a florida crowd the florida crowd yeah. will be fun so, to see I'm glad you guys are coming back this way um the uh, I was gonna say so with the question here for you with regards to your your tour and your playlist since you've been requesting things for the fans, are you guys gonna stick to um, a solid just set list on every city as you go? Are you guys gonna mix it up a bit as you're We're traveling? Mixing We're mixing okay. it up. Uh, we've had uh, there's a lot of back not back to back cities, but uh, cities that are just within a couple hundred miles of uh, of the next. And if you know our fans, they travel. Right. So we will be um, we will be changing it up for them. So okay. that way they hear it, 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 different orders, different. We have a we have a few different sets that uh, when I sent it to the guys, we, we can't choose which one we there's one particular one that stands out, but every single one has its thing. So uh, we're just going to play them all. OK, there you go. So there you know, fans, are, you're going to be mixing it up. So go to different cities. Go if you can travel with them. Yeah. Travel along, right? Definitely. Come see all the different music that they're going to do. Awesome. If you if you can, if not, at least you're going to feel something different and special because we're we're taking a lot of care in this next uh, couple of us. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. All right. Well, uh, let's see. You wrap this up here. Um, what final words do you have for our fans and people who are watching this video? We want to talk about either your music. Uh, or people. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. People that are. Uh, keeping an eye uh want to keep an eye on our our news uh jump on our socials uh facebook instagram twitter uh just search nonpoint you'll find us 
uh, definitely follow follow each member. Each member definitely has their own thing on their own profile. So uh, we all we all like to have fun on our profile. So it's it's definitely a full experience if you follow all of them. Uh, pre order is still um, it, manufacturer pieces are still coming in for people that are looking for uh, questions on the pre order stuff. I'm actually going to do a story today about it. Okay. Uh, so keep an eye out. Stuff will, you'll get a notice soon. Uh, saying stuff's on the way. Uh, the tour starting September 3rd, uh, Atreyu, then uh, our tour, then Seether, a bunch of festival stuff. There's definitely a choice near you if you're anywhere east of Colorado Springs. So uh, <laughs> find one and, and get your ass to the show if, if uh, God willing and health willing. Um, outside of that, uh, I'd say... I had a good time, man. And this is, uh, this is something that uh, I enjoy doing. So let's do it again. All right. That sounds good. Elias, thank you so much for your time. And if you, I'm going to throw you uh, my, uh, you want an input on set list, chaos and earthquakes. That's, that's always, that's a fave. So we got to throw Done. it in there somewhere. There you go. Done. <laughs> All right. Well, Elias, thank you so much for taking the time with us. Um, just as a reminder for everyone, as Elias had said, um, they're going to be going on tour with the Treyu Tetriarch and other day dawns. That's going to start on September the 3rd. Um, that's going to run all the way about through September the 8th. Then they got their headlining tour, the I'm About to Explode Tour Part 1 with Saul, Dropout Kings, Any Given Sin. Don't miss that tour. That's going to run for a while. And in between, they have some additional festival dates um, appearing at the Blue Ridge Rock Festival on September the 10th, um, the Fall Fling in Peoria, Illinois on September the 18th, Rebel Rock on September the 25th, and then finishing it off with Seether and Plush for a couple of dates. New dates coming, as Elias said, um, as soon as we get that news, we'll get that up on our website, too. Um, and then don't forget, also, in January of 2022, Nonpoint will be on Shiprock. So absolutely, if there's tickets still available, which sometimes, you know, that I know that crew sells out fast. Um, if there's anything available and you want to see these guys on the boat, absolutely go do that. And, uh, and then part two. Yeah. God part willing, two. COVID, part two of I'm About to Explode. All right. Part two, the sequel to this movie. The sequel's coming uh, in 2022 in okay. february definitely awesome that sounds good all right well elias thank you again for your time today i greatly appreciate it It was a pleasure talking to you and uh, good luck to you and the rest of the band on the tour indeed we'll talk soon all right sounds good